You want to go to jail? I do. Why is that? To eat clean. To make it your own little rehab? Yeah. got dispatched to a uh, vehicle check involving a uh, vehicle that was parked in front of a residence for uh, quite some time that didn't belong in the area. Uh, I arrived on scene, contacted the vehicle, attempted to put my lights on the vehicle, and the vehicle took off. For Lincoln Ocean King, is there... The only thing I could copy was Lincoln Ocean King. I copy the vehicle turned on and he's not pulling over. Your and the plate. Turn the car off. Turn the car off. I uh, firm. The Stay there. I live right here. Okay, I get that. But when I'm lighting you up, you need to stop. You understand? I'm sorry. Got the driver detained. I identified him. Uh, he said he was on uh, probation for some type of theft charge. Um, and then we later discovered that he was concealing his heroin and needles, which what he was doing prior to me contacting him. Um, he talked about his long time battle with heroin. Have you ever overdosed? Yeah, I've overdosed. How many yeah. times? Um, two times. How scary was that? It was scary. It's more scary ha having someone else overdose. What do you mean? You know, um, I had two girlfriends that overdosed. In front of you? Yeah, they were dead dead in my arms. I saved them. I did a CPR, brought them back to life. Okay. But they were completely lifeless for at least 20 minutes, you know? Yeah, but how, how would you like your little brother over there to find oh, you yeah. like that in your, in your room? Find you lifeless where he can't bring you back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he obviously cares about you because he knows when to sneak you in when everyone else is asleep. So he cares about you in that sense, but you have to do better for you, do better for your family. <laughs> Due to the COVID-19 and uh, some of the strict regulations the jail has, we were unable to book him in, uh, which he was quite upset about. Um, I stated to him that I wish I had some magic words that can help his situation out, and he said, well, there is a magic word, and it's called transport, meaning that he wanted to get transported to county jail. This so first what, time I'm, uh, so what, uh, I'm... So what if, so what if I, what if it was like brand new, I wasn't on probation, you wouldn't, you still wouldn't take me to jail? Like, what do you have to do to land in jail? So we're negotiating terms for you to go to jail now. Well, I'm just saying, like, it's... Uh, you know, Why don't you just get clean on your own? It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to do. Well, you know, we have a methadone clinic here in, in the city. Without the help of jail. Like, well, Byron, so. it sounds like you have a lot of demons that you need to battle. I can't fight that fight for you. Uh, this is the first time I've ever encountered uh, a subject wanting to go to jail and was upset and would even wanted to throw in some felony charges that didn't exist uh, to make it a point for him to go to jail. So it was definitely the first.